Anyone? Okay, this one is now being recorded. Okay, come on, you to stop last time class. Okay, where we have actually, we so far, uh, we have discussed about technique of integrations. So far, we have discussed about integration by substitution method. And second method is integration by parts. Okay, integration by parts. Okay, so hopefully all of you, family, apa ni, um, uh, saya tahu sekarang ni the, the apa ni the, the syllabus is getting tougher and tougher and then maybe at the same time also other subject pun sama and after this maybe lecturer pun start to speed up to complete the syllabus and on, so on so the stress is is started to build up so you need to know how to manage your time okay how to manage your stress okay kalau assignment to diberi so make sure you are able to submit if you unable to submit let us know jangan buat senyap macam tu okay because we are flexible kita bukannya kata uh, robot okay we can uh, negotiate okay kalau lah Permintaan awak tu make sense lah. Kalau yang macam uh, apa ni overslap ke apa-apa semua tu harap maaf lah. Alright so please keep us updated about your conditions. Okay jangan buat senyap macam tu je. Alright so sekarang ni and I need saya nak dengar respon you all juga ni janganlah senyap je cakap macam cakap seorang ni. Where do we stop class? Which example we stop last week? Eh, bukan last week, last class. Anyone? Example 10B. Example 10? B. Example 10? A dengan B. B. A dengan? Example A. 10. Example 10. Example 10 kita dah discuss A, B, A, and B. D. I ask you to submit kan, betul tak? A, B, uh, D. Yes. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes, saya dah bagi jawapan and ask you to submit and hopefully everyone has submitted Example lah. Saya, saya tak check hari uh, hari ni berapa orang yang belum submit. As of yesterday masih ada lagi yang belum submit. And I said to you last um during our asynchronous lecture, sini saya KIV untuk discuss with you today. Kenapa saya KIV yang ni sebab this uh, soalan ni dia unik sikit. Okay, this question is a bit unique. So to discuss with you all about this question. Tapi saya rasa you all dah pernah belajar belum teknik ini sebenarnya integration by parts? Siapa pernah. yang ambil diploma? Pernah kan? Pernah. Pernah kan? Masa uh, tingkatan 6. Uh, you I think form 6. Diploma pun sama kan? Matrix belajar tak matrix? Belajar matrix. Belajar. Ah, dah tu tak payah ajar lah kan. <laughs> dah lupa. Okay so integration of e to the power of x cos x d x. Okay. Uh, saya rasa saya nak tulis dekat sini lah sekejap. Uh, kat sini. C integration of e to the power of x cos x d x. Okay so remember okay. Definitely kalau macam kita berada dalam section integration by part so lagi terang bersuluh lah the formula that we gonna use is integration by part punya formula u v minus integration of v du okay so for this case okay for this case maknanya kita kena first task for, what is the first step lah kita kena assign what should we uh, let as your u and another one is what as your dv. So sekarang ni apa yang kita perlu set as our u class? Kita ada two function here. Exponential dengan cos x. So yang mana dia punya haraki dia paling lagi tinggi untuk di choose sebagai u? Exponential ke trigonometric function? Agak-agak. Exponential. Okay. Kalau you tengok kat sini, tengok ni dia punya rule kita ada ni logarithm as inverse trigo function algebraic, algebraic, uh, algebraic functions, trigo function, exponential function. Maknanya kat sini trigo lagi tinggi. Okay to choose as your u. Higher priority compared to exponential. Sebenarnya tapi saya rasa exponential pun boleh juga sebenarnya. You can try lah. Okay let u equals so maknanya kat sini akan kita akan pilih let u equals to cos x. Okay so bila you let u equals to cos x maknanya 
the remaining whatever you have inside this integration symbol you have to put as your dv jangan ambil ex je tak jadi okay e to power of x sahaja tak jadi so you have to put together with dx okay so done with the first step second step what we gonna do with u class apa yang kita buat untuk dengan u ni what we do with you come on i need respond differentiate Differentiate respect to du over d dx. Okay, du over dx differentiate cos x. What you will get? Negative sine x. Okay, and then v here. What we do? We integrate. Right. So integrate e to the power of x dx. So integrate e to the power of x dx. You will get e to the power of x again. Right, kita dah discuss about that. So, using the formula, uv minus v integration v du is equals to uv, yang ni darab dengan yang ni, okay. e to power of x cos x minus with v du, okay, v, <coughs> v, our v is e to the power of x, okay, du, Okay, 27 orang baru. 29, saya tak tahu kat mana lagi 3 orang. DU kita sama dengan negative sin x dx. So, multiply with negative sin x dx. Which is also equals to e to the power of x cos x plus integration of e to the power of x sin x dx. Nampak? Okay, tak apalah. Okay, so kat sini maknanya soalan dia sama dengan Eh, soalan pula. Jawapan dia sama dengan e to the power of x cos x plus with e to the power of x sin x dx. So, this is our answer. Integration of this thing, okay, uv minus v du is equals to this one. So, as you can see, the solution is not yet complete. We have this part to solve. Okay, we still have this part to solve which is integration of e to the power of x sin x dx. Saya nak tukar color sekejap. Okay, so maknanya yang ni, we need to, we need to e to the power of x sin x dx. To solve this, we need to apply one more time integration by part. And then you have to be consistent. Kalau tadi u ni, you let is equal to trigger function. So this time point, you have to let u as your trigger function. So this time our u is equals to sine x and dv is equals to e to the power of x called uh, e to the power of x dx. Okay. All right. So here du is equals to cos x dx lah. Okay. du over dx is equals to cos x. So, du is equals to cos x dx and v equals to e to the power of x. So, for this case, maknanya uh, to solve this integration, uv minus v integration v du, you will get u is equals to sin x, v is e to the power of x times with sin x minus with integration of v, your v now is e to the power of x and du is equals to cos x dx. Okay. So, makna kata the solution for this is equals to e to the power of x cos x plus with this integration is equals to this one. Okay. Plus with e to the power of x sin x minus with integration of e to the power of x cos x dx. Okay. So, what do you think next? What should we do next? Plus, are we going to solve this integration again? Kita akan solve balik tak ni? Ni ada masih lagi ada integration of e to the power of x cos x dx. So, are you going to apply again integration by part? Any answer please? Yes. No. Ha, dah ada orang jawab kat belakang tu. Apa dia? Perlu tak kita apply lagi integration by part one more time? Kelas, nyap je semua orang ni. Ha? Tak kot. Tapi macam mana kita nak solve then? Tak perlu, tak perlu. Tak, tak perlu. 
Then macam so, mana nak solve? Tak perlu. Okey kita tambah C. Tambah C, tambah C dah siap. Okey betul tambah C. Tapi kita tak dapat lagi jawapan ni macam mana? Soalan ni Apa dia? Pakai apa? Faktor kan KIV Faktorize kan dia KIV awak kata Apa dia? Tak dengar apa dia? Faktorize Faktorize yes Betul? Good answer siapa cakap tu faktorize tu? Tak dengar suara siapa yang cakap faktorize? So how you faktorize? You nak faktor dengan apa? Are you going to factor this term dengan yang ni? Yang ni ke? Exponent to power of x. Mana? Exponent to power of x. Yes, you may factorize. Eh tak boleh. You nak factor. Okay, you nak factor yang ni. You nak factor yang ni. You nak factor yang ni. Yang ni tak boleh buat keluar tau daripada integration ni because it still remain. You tak dia terikat dengan dx ni. You have to integrate first baru you boleh buat keluar. Unless if it is constant you boleh buat keluar. Sebenarnya kan jawapan dia sangat senang. You dah ada jawapan dah depan mata. Dia ada silap mata sikit kat sini. Ha, saya nak bagi bonus mark lah siapa yang dah tahu, tahu jawapan ni. Cepat cepat. Uh, exponent x sin x cos x. Exponent x? Huh? Ni on our Uh, right hand side ni jawapan kita. Apa soalan ni sebenarnya? Soalan ni tanya apa? Kita tengah buat soalan C. Apa soalan pada uh, soalan C ni? Apa soalan dia? Kelas, apa soalan C? Cuba tengok balik soalan dia apa dia? Yang What is the question? Integration, ah betul. Siapa jawab tu? Siapa jawab tu? Nak bagi bonus mark ni? Afiq, Afiq. Afiq jawab. Yes, betul. Ya, integration bawa ke belah kiri. Sebab sekarang ni what is our sebelah kiri? Apa soalan dia? Okay, yang sebelah kiri sekarang adalah Okay ya, soalan kita C adalah integration of e to the power of x cos x dx. And sekarang ni jawapan yang kita ada so far is e to the power of x cos x plus with e to the power of x sin x minus with integration of e to the power of x cos x dx. Nampak tak? So ni dia main silap mata sikit maknanya yang ni term ni bawa lah pergi ke kiri. So maknanya this integration you go to the left. Oops. Allah. Okay what you will get now you get 2 integration of e to the power of x cos x dx is equals to e to the power of x cos x plus e to the power of x sin x. Then maksudnya final answer kita adalah integration e to the power of x cos x dx is equals to 1 over 2 e to the power of x cos x plus with e to the power of x sin x everything plus with c. Okay nak tambah c awal pun boleh tapi c tu kita tak tahu apa value dia so we may regard that as a big c lepas kita settle everything. Faham tak ni silap mata kat sini kelas. So maybe some of you would think hard how to solve this. Bila uh, integrate dapat balik yang sama. Bila integrate dapat balik yang sama. So please check on your left side. Do we, can we do something or not? So there is a silap mata a bit here to solve this question. Clear everyone? Dengar tak ni? Clear. Yeah, yes, Kena cakap clear. Magical cakap clear. What about the rest? Fawaz yeah. baru join tadi. Fawaz are you okay? Clear. Clear? Oh clear. Baru masuk kan? Rosane, Rosane clear tak? Rosane pun baru masuk saya perasan. Hujan lagi ke kat tawar Rosane? Eh Rosane kat tawar ke? Betul lah kan? Rosane? Senyap. Rosane dah keluar ke? Tapi 30 orang dalam ni. Rau datul ada tak rau datul ni? Ada, ada, ada. Ada? Ha, network clear hari ni? Ya, ni. Ha, boleh faham tak ni? 
Boleh, boleh. Boleh. Rose, Rose. Rose senyap ni. Saya risau dia ni. Kampung dia katanya banjir. Alright. Rose. Tak punya hot. Okay. So now we, okay. With everyone is clear about that. Now we come to the another technique which is the last technique of integration method okay which is integration of rational functions by partial fractions yang ni pun sebenarnya you all dah belajar kan cuma ingat tak ingat macam tu je so this is considered as throwback lah kan asyik duk throwback dekat facebook dengan instagram je sekarang kita throwback dalam kelas okay alright so A rational function can be expressed as, tahu kan, everyone tahu what is rational function, right? Bila kita ada numerator and denominator, atas dan bawah. Rosen kata boleh dengar, tapi tak boleh cakap kot. Alright, so it is a rational function. So, um, you have to make sure a valid rational function is when the power of numerator ni lagi kecil daripada power of denominator. Okay, so macam ni, kuasa yang paling tinggi kat atas adalah x power of 1. Kuasa kuasa yang paling tinggi kat bawah adalah x power of 2. So this is a rational function. Okay, and this one is actually you can break it out into two. Two terms. Maknanya kat sini, 5x tolak 3 is equals to x square minus 2x minus 3 ni sebenarnya is a factor of, uh, apa ni, is a multiplication of two factors of x plus 1 and x minus 3. Okay. So semua orang faham tak? This is actually equals to this one. Kita boleh pecahkan dia become two terms which is equals to 2 over x plus 1 plus with 3 over x minus 3. Okay. This is equals to 2 over x plus 1 uh, plus with 3 over x minus 3. Tak percaya you boleh Uh, apa ni, Ses, uh, ni darab silang yang ni tengok ni, 2 ni darab dengan x minus 3 tambah dengan 3 x plus 1 ok dan you boleh darab balik ni x plus 1 times with x minus 3 so expand expand ni you akan dapat balik yang ni ok kalau you pecahkan ni uh, expand yang ni 2 x minus 3 x plus 3 x plus 3 yang ni ok you akan dapat this is equals to 5 x minus 3 yang ni pula you akan dapat equal to x square minus 2x minus 3. Okay. Kenapa kita pecahkan dia menjadi these two terms? Because it will help us a lot when you want to solve the integration. Okay. Then, okay. This is equal to this. Maknanya kalau kita nak integrate, maknanya kita can, we can integrate one term by another term. So maknanya this is integration of 2 over x plus 1 dx plus with 3 over x minus 3 dx. And integration of 1 over a linear function like this. Okay, this is so-called over a linear function. It's just equals to logarithmic ln. Okay, remember integration of ln over x dx is equals, uh, sorry, integration of 1 over x dx is equals to ln x. So, maknanya kalau 1 over x plus 3 for example, dx, then you will get ln x plus 3 and so on and so forth. Boleh? I make yourself clear. So, first thing, okay, another objective for today is I want everyone to understand how kita boleh jadikan daripada bentuk macam ni, dia dipecahkan menjadi macam ni. Okay, menjadi partial fractions. Okay, how we are going to solve this become a, part, a partial fractions. Bila you berjaya pecahkan jadi macam ni, I don't think you have problem to solve the integration. Basically, integration dia menjadi sangat senang. Okay. Okay, so sekarang ni, uh, dia ada beberapa rules. Okay, dia ada beberapa rules. You have to make sure yang tadi saya dah cakap dah, degree of the function of numerator tu kena always lagi, ke, lagi kecil daripada yang bawah. Okay, numerator, okay, 5x is smaller than x square. And another term, uh, another rules is, oh, uh, uh, sudah, apa ni? Uh, another rules is we must know the factors of gx. So yang ni kita dah tahulah tadi. Kenapa dia payah nak slide ni?
Okey. <coughs> Yang ni kita tahu uh, we can factor it become x plus 1 and x minus 3. Okey. So kat sini adalah teknik macam mana you boleh baca okey later on how we can break out into partial fractions here dia punya rules. I will straight away explain to you through examples. Okey. First Saya akan tunjukkan dekat you macam mana dari 5x minus 3 over x square minus 2x minus 3 ni dia boleh jadi 2 over x plus 1 plus with 3 over x minus 3, okay? Uh, okay, so yang ni tadi apa soalan dia? Alamak, tak ingat pula. 5x minus 3 5x minus 3 over x square minus 2x minus 3. 3. Betul tak ni kelas? Saya salin soalan ni betul tak? Anyone? Tolong check betul tak soalan saya salin ni? Betul tak? Betul. Okay so x plus 1 we factor x plus 1 times with x minus 3. Okay so daripada sini okay if we want to convert it become a partial fraction maknanya Macam tadi kita terus tahu jawapan dia 2 dengan 3 tapi sebenarnya dia tak datang macam tu je. You tak boleh nak tilik lepas tu rasa. You have to calculate. So this is equals to we break down into two terms over x plus 1. Another term is over x minus 3. Okay what to put at the numerator here yang ke atas ni is depending what is your denominator. So sekarang ni your denominator is x plus 1. At, dia punya rule kan yang atas ni power dia tak boleh lebih daripada yang bawah. So yang bawah yang bawah ni power dia yang paling tinggi adalah x power of apa ni kelas? x power of 1. Right? Yang ni adalah x power of 1. Maknanya sekarang ni you introduce a constant that we don't know a times with x to the power of 0. Yang ni pula b plus, uh, plus b x to power of 0. Which is makna katanya sekarang ni 5x minus 3 over x plus 1 times with x minus 3 is equals to a je lah x power of 0 kan 1 over x plus 1 plus with b x minus 3. So apa yang kita nak buat sekarang adalah kita akan Cuba untuk cari what is actually the value for A and B. Okay. So what we got to do now is you cross multiply ataupun you darab silang. Sekarang what I mean by darab silang maknanya 5x minus 3 ni. <coughs> okay. 5x minus 3 on your left hand side. On your right hand side maknanya semuanya ni darab dengan pergi ke belah sini. Okay. So what you have here is x plus 1 darab dengan x plus 1 darab dengan x minus 3. Oh, step by step saya tunjuk ni. Plus with b over x minus 3 darab dengan x plus 1 times with x minus 3 juga. So with this you may cancel x plus 1, x plus 1, x minus 3 dengan x minus 3. So daripada sini there are two options sebenarnya you boleh buat. You boleh gantikan that will make one another, one term become zero so that you will get another value. For example kat sini, apa value yang membolehkan a, uh, the first term become zero class? Ni, how to make this term become zero? We let x equals to apa? Untuk membuat the first term ni become zero. Come on. We let x equal to three. Yes, we let x equals to Three. Tak, tak. Yang first term. First term yang ni kan kita dah cancel. So kita tinggal A times with X minus 3. Eh sorry. Ya yeah, betul lah. X minus 3. So we we'll let X equals to my, uh, 3. Bukan minus 3. Sorry. When X equals to 3. So maknanya yang belah kiri kita dapat 5 darat 3 tolak 3. Is equals to the first term A darat dengan kosong. Jadi kosong lah lah. Plus with B. 3 tambah 1. So what you will get class? 15 tolak 3 berapa? Ni 15 tolak 3 is 8 tambah 4B. So with this we get B is equals to 
2. Faham tak? Okay, from here we get B equals to 2. Okay, kita, kita dah dapat jawapan. B equals to 2. Maknanya kat sini B is equals to 2. Now let's try for A. Apa value for A then? Untuk A maknanya kita kena gantikan, kita jadikan B ni kosong pula. So maknanya we let X equals to apa untuk jadikan the second term ni kosong? Negative 1. Yes, let X equals to negative 1. So we have 5 times 1 minus 3, okay, equals to A times with negative 1 minus 3. Okay, so what you will get here? 2 equals to negative 4 A. So from here we have A is equals to negative 2. Okay, A is equals to negative 2. Betul ke? Jawapan yang dapat ni betul tak? Sama tak? Dari silap. Betul tak? Sama dengan slide tak? Eh, 3. Alamak, kenapa 3? Kat mana saya silap? 9, doktor. Bukan 8. Mana, 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 mana? 8. 8? Ah, yang ni. 5, 15. Ah, betul. Terima kasih. So, yang ni adalah 12. So, yang ni B sepatutnya? C, G kan? Betul tak ni kelas? Betul, betul. Okay. Ya, yeah, betul. Alright, so maknanya kita dapat jawapan kat sini. Okay, this one is equals to negative 2 over x plus 2 and then plus with 3 over x minus 3. Sama lah dengan uh, ni. Eh, negative. Alamak, silap je lagi. Negatif eh. <laughs> Ada silap ke kat sini? Oh, negative 1. Silap lagi. So, negative 1 kat sini maknanya Negatif 8. Negatif 8. Negatif 1 kan sini. Negatif 5 minus 3 is negative 8. Negatif 8 is equal to negative 4A. So negatif 8 is equal to negative 4A. Then A is equal to 2. Not positive 2. Okay. Hmm. Salah kat situ tu. So make sure saya silap ni. Ganti 5 neg darab dengan negatif 1. So negatif 5 tolak 3, negatif 8 equals to negatif 4A then A is equals to 2. Alright? Clear everyone? Clear, clear tak? Clear. Yeah. Okay, clear, so clear. make sure you make all the correction yang saya tersilap tadi tu. Okay. Okay, so now kita tengok example. Ha, yang ni soal jawapan dah ada dah pun. So saya tak nak explain tu lah. So you tengok yang ni. Okay, this question, okay, we have x square plus 4x plus 1 over, yang ni dah factorkan siap-siap. Okay, soalan dia denominator ni dah difactorkan x minus 1 times with x plus 1 tambah uh, times with x plus 3. So, it's the same thing as what we did just now. Okay, yang ni everything kita pecahkan kepada three terms. So, as I said tadi, Okay, kita tengok dekat bawah ni. Di bawah dia, the highest power is x power of 1. So that is why kat sini jadi A je. This is not only A sebenarnya. Dia adalah A darangan x kuasa kosong. Tapi you tak nampak lah x kuasa kosong tu sebab x kuasa kosong tu sama dengan 1. So that's why dia ada A over x minus 1 plus B over x plus 1 plus C over x plus 3. Dan kita darat macam saya tunjukkan dekat you tadi yang ni. Okay, so kita dapat macam ni. Dan kita gantikan value macam kita buat tadi. The term that will make, that will kill one of them. Macam x equals to 1 ni dia akan killkan which term? First term, second term or third term? When x equals to 1 dia akan kill this term. Betul tak? Dia akan kill B. So dari situ you boleh dapat what is A. So dia kill B and C as well. Okay. When x equals to negative 1 dia akan kill um, A dan juga C. That's why you dapat B. And then when x equals to negative 3, dia akan kill A and B. So that's why you dapat C. Okay. So daripada sini, you boleh try on your own lah. Solution, solution dah ada kat sini. A equals to 3 over 4. B is equals to half. C equals to negative 1 over 4. And so maknanya sekarang ni, we can easily 
integrate all the three parts. Okay, the constant you bring it out, 3 over 4 times the integration of 1 over x minus 1 dx plus 1 over 2, 1 over x plus 1 dx and minus, uh, jangan silap ni, minus 1 over 4 integration 1 over x plus 3 dx. So, you can get this plus 3k ni sama je dengan plus c tu, jangan risau. Okay, so jangan tengok je uh, solution ni. Give yourself a try and please do. Okay, and then ni skema jawapan dah ada kat sini. You better check later. Okay, nampak macam ni memang senang tengok macam saya tadi. So, alain senang je tapi ya, boleh buat careless mistake macam tu kan. Alright, so now let's proceed to example 12. Okay, so for example 12, kalau you tengok kat sini. There are few things I want to highlight lah. Okay, the concern now is on how to break them into partial fractions. Okay, how to break them into partial fractions. We try first example uh, A. Okay, for A here. <coughs> for A here, we have jawapan dah ada kat situ. So, you, you can just work out on your own. Okay, integrate A here, we have 6x plus 7 over x plus 2 square. Ah, uh, Ni dia punya different. x plus 2 square. So, we have a repetitive uh, factors. Okay. Repetitive factors. So for this case, dia sama juga dengan 6x plus 7 times x plus 2 x plus 2. Betul tak? Okay. So in this case, maknanya you akan kata this is going to be equal to a over x plus 2. Betul tak? Everyone agree with me? We're going to have a over x plus 2 plus with another term is b over x plus 2. So, siapa kata ni betul? Everyone agree with me or not this one? No. No, why no? B bawah tu ada square. Ah, ada square. Tu maknanya you all ni dah masih lagi ingat. Okay, betul. That's correct. Okay, maknanya b ni kita kena power of 2 because it's a repetitive square. Okay, repetitive power. So, maknanya kalau power of 3 tadi, maknanya kita akan ada another one, C power of 3, right? Okay. Okay, so clear everyone? So, maknanya yang ni, kita akan buat this one, okay, uh, 6, uh, saya rasa saya akan buat dekat ke ni lah. Saya nak add slide. Show. Discard. Okay. Six x plus seven. Okay, so six x plus seven over x plus two square is equals to a over x plus two plus with b over x plus 2 square. Okay. So, daripada sini kita buat macam kita buat tadi. 6x plus 7 equals to a. So, yang ni tinggal x plus 2 plus b. Tu je. Betul tak? It's very simple. So, daripada sini maknanya you boleh sama ada you nak ganti ataupun you nak uh, Expand pun boleh. Okay, you nak expand pun uh, boleh. What I mean by expand, saya nak tunjuk cara. Yang ni you boleh juga guna let x, uh, apa ni, let <coughs> x equals to negative 2 then you boleh dapat what is b. There's another cara yang lagi senang for me, I think. You can just by compare left and right hand side. Okay, by comparing left and right hand side. So how to compare, sekarang ni kita darab a x plus 2a tambah b. Okay, tambah 2, tambah b. Okay, so sekarang ni kita compare left and right hand side yang x power of 1 for x power of 1, left hand side what is the coefficient on the left hand side for x power of 1? Perkali bagi x power of 1 on your left hand side is 6. And then perkali untuk your right hand side for x power of 1 is apa? 
A. There you go. You get A is equals to 6. Untuk X power of 0, on your left hand side, what is the perkali untuk X power of 0 on your left hand side class? Jawapan please. Janganlah sorang-sorang saya cakap ni. 7. Yes, 7. And what is your right hand side? 2? 2A plus B. A plus B, correct. 2A plus B. Now we know already our A is equals to 6, right? Plus with B. So maknanya our B is equals to 7 tolak 12 negative 5. Got it? So maknanya for our integration here is equals to A is equals to 6. 6 over X plus 2. Okay. And then minus with integration of 5 over x plus 2 square. dx and then dx. Ah, okay. Now, we want to solve the integration. Macam mana ni? Integration ni straightforward ke tak? What is the, sol the solution for the first part? Okay, it's equal to 6 over 1 over x plus 2 dx minus with 5 ni pun another constant. 1 over x plus 2 square dx. Okay, for the first term, what is the answer class? You tengok dia punya, uh, denominator dia is a only a linear function which is x plus 2. Then no worries. Maksudnya jawapan dia adalah 6 ln x plus 2. Tapi yang, bau, yang ni, this is where student tend to make mistake. Adakah ni adalah jawapan dia ln juga? Kelas, adakah ni jawapan dia ln juga? Integration of 1 over x plus 2 no. square. Adakah ln? Tidak. 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 So apa, apa jawapan dia? How to solve that integration? You kena bawa naik atas. Yes, bawa naik atas, correct. Okay, maknanya is equals to x plus 2 power two. of negative 2 dx. Lepas tu? So integrate. Integrate macam mana? Sebab kita ada x plus 2 kat atas, kat dalam tu. Okay, eh, kenapa ni? Kecut saya. Okay, macam mana nak integrate? Nak integrate untuk you nampak, I would, maybe some of you tak payah, tak payah nak uh, go step by step. Tapi at this stage, I would suggest you to let, apa? Let u equals to x plus 2. So from here, you get du equals to dx. Then daripada sini, untuk you lagi nampak lah. Okay, differentiate ni, uh, d, d over dx is equals to 1 lah. Because tu. So daripada sini maknanya you dapat integration u kuasa negatif 2 d u. Lagi senang lah untuk you nampak ataupun kalau those who are clear already you can just integrate like that. So this one maknanya dia akan dapat sama apa? u kuasa negatif 1 over negatif 1 right? Over negatif 1 maknanya you gonna have negatif 1 over u. So negatif 1 over u here you let u equals to x plus 2. So maknanya jawapan yang ni adalah negative 1 over x plus 2. So yang ni maknanya integration of 1 over negative x plus 2. Plus with c. Then you go. The final answer is ln x plus 2 plus with 5 over x plus 2 plus with c. Okay. So this is the final answer for A. Clear everyone? Okay, so make sure you don't make a careless mistake. Yang ni jawapan dia bukan ln eh. Okay, if you know then you can direct integrate as one bawa atas macam tu ataupun kalau you tak berapa nak clear you can apply substitution method that I've just shown to you. Okay. Okay, we done with this. Now we proceed for B. Ha, B ni nampak tak? Okay, it's another special case untuk B ni adalah is this a proper rational function or not class for B? Is this a proper rational function or not? What is the no. power yang ke atas? Yang ke atas what is the power? No. Power of X 3. Kuasa 3. Ah, yang bawah kuasa 2. 2. So maknanya kat sini you can't 
yet factor yang bawah ni dan proceed guna partial fraction. You have to, ni kita panggil improper function. Yang mana power of numerator lagi tinggi daripada power of denominator. So what you got to do untuk yang ni adalah kita guna, kita kena bahagi dulu sebab kita nak kita nak apa ni? Kita nak pecahkan dia menjadi a proper function. So maknanya 2x cube minus with 4x square minus x minus 3 times with uh, bahagi dengan x square minus 2x minus 3. Okay. So when you uh, solve this maknanya 2x cube x square darab dengan berapa nak dapat 2x cube plus? X square uh, darab dengan 2, 2 apa? 2 X lah. Okay, X square. Yes, 2 X. Okay, X square darab dengan 2 X, you dapat 2 X cube. So, maknanya turun bawah, 2 X darab dengan X square, you get 2 X cube. And then, 2 X minus with 2 X, you get minus 4 X square. And 2 X times with minus 3, you get minus 6 X. Okay, so yang ni tolak 2x cube minus with 2x cube you call dapat kosong. Minus 4x square plus 4x square you dapat kosong. And then this one minus minus x minus with 6x you get 5x minus 3. So meaning to say this one is equals to 2x plus with 5x minus 3 over x cube minus 2x minus 3. 3. Betul tak? Okay. <coughs> Saya rasa macam pernah nampak je 5x minus 3 ni kan? Perasan tak? Okay. 5x minus 3 ni sama lah dengan yang kita ada ni kan? Ha. Sama yang ni. Ha, so saya tak payah soft dah untuk the second term tu. Selamat saya. 5x minus 3 over x square minus 2x minus 3. Kita dah ada jawapan kat sini dan kita dah soft tadi pun. Okay, so maknanya yang ni adalah integration of 2x plus with 5x minus 3 over x square minus 2x minus 3 ni kita dah solve example yang ni tadi. Ah, Yang ni betul kan? 5x minus 3 over x square minus 2x minus 3 sama je. So maknanya is equals to 2 over x plus 1. Okay, plus 3 over x minus 3. Sama je dengan yang kita dah discuss discuss tadi. Plus with 2 over x plus 1. Ni dx lah. Plus with 3 over x minus 3 dx. Okay so dari sini 2x square over 2. Integrate 2x takkan tak tahu. So you get x square. Okay plus with 2 ln x plus 1 plus with 3 ln x minus 3. Don't forget plus with C. So C jawapan yang kita ada kat sini sama dengan apa yang kita discuss. Okay clear? Yang B ni sebenarnya nak tunjuk yang ni lah. Yang the rest tu senang je. Simple je. In fact sama je dengan example yang kita discuss sebelum ni. Okay now if everything clear, now let's proceed to C. Okay now let's proceed to C the final example for today. Okay. Okay, so for this one, yang ni agak mencabar, bukanlah mencabar, dia punya tu tu sikit. Uh, saya nak salin soalan, saya nak buat dekat sebelah. Okay, so baca balik soalan kat saya kelas. Saya dah malas nak tengok kat belakang. Apa soalan yang C? Kelas, apa soalan C? DX over X. DX over X. X. Kurungan. Kurungan. X square. X square. Plus one. Plus one. Lepas tu. Ha, apa dia tu? X square plus one. Power of two. Right? Two. Ayam siapa bawa pokok ni? Dah petang lah. Okay. So DX over X over X square plus one square. So maknanya kat sini. Okay. The soalan tu sebenarnya ada 1 over x darab dengan x square plus 1 square. Okay class. So how many terms should we break out this into partial fraction? The first term will be apa? 
A over apa kelas? A over Cepat-cepat kita ada 10 minit lagi ni A over apa? X A over X A over X Over yang kat bawah ni we have X square plus 1 And I'm sure semua orang dah clear is because it's repetitive Then maknanya ni saya tak tulis lagi apa eh And over X square plus 1 square Okay, what I'm talking, what I'm, my concern now is look at the denominator here, the kuasa for x is power of 2. So, atas ni, when you want to introduce b, what d should multiply with x to power of apa kat sini? Because yang bawah adalah power of 2. So, yang atas ni adalah power of? 1. 1, yes. b x power of 1. Since you start with b x power of 1, then you have to plus with? C x power of 0. Faham eh semua? C x power of 0. Okay. And then next. Okay. We have x square plus 1 square. So same thing here. Maknanya kita ada d x plus e. Okay. d x plus e. Alright. d x plus e there. Okay. Mana pula solution saya ni? Okay, so maknanya kat sini kita ada A over X plus with B X plus C over X square plus 1 plus with D X plus E over X square plus 1 power of 2. Okay, X square plus 1 power of 2. Okay, so now Kita akan pecahkan dia. So this is equal to 1 over x times with x square plus 1 square. So maknanya kat sini you akan dapat a x square plus 1 square plus with b x plus c x. Saya, saya harap semua orang faham lah apa yang saya tengah buat ni. Plus E, uh, x x square plus 1 then plus with dx plus e times with x equals to 1. Okay times with x equals to 1. So there are few options. Uh, sorry tak ada option. You have to expand. Okay you have to expand on your left hand side here. So what you will have is ni maknanya Maknanya yang ni, okay, x square plus 1 times with x square plus 1. So what you will have here is x power of 4 plus 2 x square plus with 1. Okay, and then yang ni pula you ada, apa ni, b x square plus c x darab dengan x square plus 1 pula. So what you will have here is... Uh, Tak apalah kita tulis dulu yang ni. B x square plus C x times with x square plus 1. Then you have here D x square times with E the power of x equals to 1. Then from here you have A x power of 4 plus 2 A x square plus A plus with B x power of 4 plus B x square plus c x cube plus with c x plus with d x square plus e to the power of x equals to 1. Ha, macam apa tak? Okay, what is the first thing that kita akan dapat mula-mula sekali? We compare left hand side and right hand side. Sekarang ni saya dah terbalik. Left hand side yang panjang, right hand side yang kecil. Okay, so sekarang ni we start with x power of 0. What is the term for x power of 0 on your left hand side class? Ni semua orang dah pensan dah tengok panjang sangat ni. Class, what a. is the term? Yes, correct. A. A. And what is your left hand side for x power of 0? Ada tak term for uh, x power of 0 on your left hand side? Is equals to 1. Betul tak? Okay, 1 tu adalah kita punya Perkali untuk x power of satu. 0. Yes, 1. So, you already get the answer A is equals to 1. Okay, now kita proceed untuk 
X power of 1. Apakah perkali untuk X power of 1? Mana X power of 1? Ada tak X power of 1? C. Ada. Apa? We have? C. 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 Satu je C. 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 plus C. E satu lagi. E X. E. Yes. We have C plus E then for E. This is for E X power of 1. C plus E. On your right hand side kita ada tak X power of 1? Kat no. sini kita tak ada. So maknanya C plus E is equals to 0. Okay. And then we go for X square. X square ada tak? Apa kita ada for X square? Kita ada 2. 2A. 2A. Then kita ada apa? B. B. Tambah B. Hmm. And then apa lagi kita ada? D. D. Tambah D. A tambah B tambah D equals to 0 and we know that A is equals to 1, right? So here we have B plus D is equals to negative 2. Okay, B tambah D is equals to negative 2. Okay, we have this first equation, we have this second equation. Now let's proceed for X power of 3. X power of 3 ada tak? Ada. Ada, apa X power of 3 kita? C. C. Only C? Yes. Betul tak only C? Ada lagi tak? C. Tak ada. Tak ada dah kan? Kita tak ada dah dx square tadi saya dah tambah. Kita dah ni dah ni dah ni dah. Okay so maknanya kita ada C. So this is for x power of 3. So C maknanya on your right hand side ada tak? Tak ada kan? So with this we know that C is equals to 0. Okay. Now we have C equals to 0. So if C equals to 0, what else we can get class? Kita tahu e. C sama dengan kosong. E. Then we know that also E is equals to 0. Yes, e. e also equals to 0. So apa yang kita tak ada lagi? Kita still lagi tak tahu. A dah ada. Kita tahu B dengan e. D. Okay, let no, no worries. Okay, X power 3 dah. X power of 4 pula. So what do we have for X power of 4? A. A, we have A. No, untuk X power of 4 saya tulis kat sini. Eh. Sorry eh, agak serabut. Okay, untuk X power of 4 saya, we have A tambah dengan apa? B. A tambah B habis. A tambah B sama dengan apa? Kosong, betul tak? Okay, we have A plus B is equal to zero on your Betul tak X power 4 we don't have on your right hand side kan? On your on ni dekat ni because tu. So maknanya yeah. kita tahu A is equals to 1. Okay A is equals to 1. So with this we get B equals to apa class? Negative 1. Negative 1. Negative 1. Correct. B is equals to negative 1. So bila tahu B equals to negative 1 maknanya D kita sama dengan apa? Negative 1 pergi ke belah kanan you akan dapat apa D? Negative D one. is equal negative 1. Okay, so with this we have complete all the uh, constant that we want to find. Hmm, warna apa eh? Warna orange. Okay, so kita ada A equals to 1, B equals to negative 1, C equals to 0, D equals to negative 1, okay. E equals to zero. Okay. So daripada sini, saya nak sapu sekarang. Hmm. Oh dah 259. Saya boleh suruh you all soft sendirilah the rest tu. Okay. So maknanya kat sini kita dapat A kita adalah 1 So this integration is equals to 1 over x dx Plus with B B kita adalah B sama dengan apa kelas? Negative 1 and C is equals to 0 So negative x over x square plus 1 dx And then D kita adalah negative 1 Okay tambah dengan uh, apa ni? Tambah dengan on that tolak lah Negative Tolak lah terus. Tolak dengan x over x square plus 1 square dx. 
Okay. So I'm sure yang ni yang bawah ni senang je which is equals to ln x. Okay. And then yang ni, okay. Minus x over x square plus 1 ni I want you to try. Okay. Give yourself a try on how to solve this. Okay. Answer dah ada dekat saya dah provide jawapan. Okay, ni dah ada jawapan dia. Ah, work out how you get this answer. Okay, yang ni dah simplified sebenarnya. Yang ni ni, ah, saya dah bagi ni ni. Okay, yang ni adalah ln modulus x minus with ln <coughs> square root of x square plus 1. Ini jawapan dia. Yang ln x ni lah yang first term yang kita dapat tadi. Yang 4a tu. 1 over x tadi. Integration of 1 over x kita dapat ln x. So the second term ni jawapan dia. The integration for the third term ni adalah jawapan dia. So I want you just you give you give yourself a try and make sure you get the answer like this. Okay, this one I tak apalah tak payah classwork submission, but it's for your own good. You should try. If you can't get the answer, then I'm always here to clarify with you how to get the answer. Alright, class. It, one minute past three now. Sorry for the delay. So that's all for today. So with this, we have completed chapter four, part one. Okay, so next week, sync a synchronous class, kita can start dengan chapter four, part two. All right. Thank you, everyone. Okay. So, Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Welcome. Thank you, Dr. 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 Thank you, Dr.